This Week on The Core. Everybody needs a haircut and a trim. But what is it like to be on the other end and be receiving the nation in your chair? Well, today we are going to be finding out what it's like to spend a day as a barber. And of course, the best way to do that is to spend a day in their shoes. Barbershops are not only a place for cutting your hair, but a space where people meet, where they come to relax and discuss issues. Hey, morning. Yeah. Hey, Emmeline. I'm Control. Control, okay, yeah. I like that. Nice to meet you. You're welcome. So, sorry, I'm just going to interrupt your haircut for a little bit, but don't worry, I'm just like a little fly on the wall. I'm going to be watching what you're doing, right? Which I have to actually do later, right? All I have right. to cut someone's hair. Okay, you want to cut someone's hair or you want to watch now? I'll watch now whilst we talk and then I'll cut someone's hair after, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay, so how did you get into barbering? Oh, barbering. Barbering is part of my hustling. Mm. See, since the time. I began to hustle, you know, I finished school. I didn't even know education, so I had no hand, right? Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, on, I'm on the street. Yeah. I choose to be a barber. Wow. Yeah, that was about 25 years ago. 25 years 25 ago? 25 years ago. Mm. Okay, that's a long time. And then how did you start? Oh, because I'm working here, right here with my brother. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I have a different business. So, I just traveled and left him here alone. Okay. Yeah. So now, as I'm back, I lose my brother. He's passed away. Oh, wow. So that is why I'm back to the shop. Wow. Okay, wow. That's intense. So when you traveled and you came back here, did you open the barber shop then? Yeah, this is the barber shop I opened. Okay, so you opened this one 25 years ago? 25 years ago. When I left it and I go, almost about 11 years, I came back again. Oh, okay. And when you were outside, were you barbering as well? No, no barber. So you kind of came back, got back into it. Yeah. That's amazing. So when you kind of first started getting this barbering shop, mm -hmm. did you have to save up money for it or how did it work? Oh, yeah, I have to save money. Mm -hmm. Because the time I opened the shop, it's not like this. It's something cute. It was small? It was small. Oh, cute. Yeah. Okay. It was small by then, you know. So it was, it was, it was growing gradually, mm -hmm. gradually to this level. That's great. And then will you keep growing? Keep going, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So when you before you had the barber shop, mm. were you barbering outside? Like for friends? No. Making money? No? I only do at home. Okay. Uh, uh, small boys and girls, the juveniles, you know, I just do them, you know, because the big one, the big men, I don't like to barb them, you know. Mm. Yeah. I want to go with the little ones, little the young ones. ones. Yeah because they're more cool. Yeah. And then when you started 25 years ago, mm -hmm. were your parents cool with you doing barbering? Oh, they are cool, you know, because when I go to job, mm -hmm. you know, I work for money, right? Mm -hmm. So when I go to job, I bring money at home. And you know, mama is going to be happy. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. my younger brother wanted to be a barber. Yeah. And a lot of my, um, sounds sad to say, but a lot of my family mm -hmm. didn't really take him seriously. Yeah. It's bad, right? Oh. Because actually, it is a decent, great job. Okay, so now you're trimming, right? Yeah, I just want to smooth it. Smooth it, okay. Yeah, so sure. we're smoothing. Okay, yeah. I'll leave. You know, when, it's, when you, you cut the head, you, when you stand outside, you see that one, there is a long one. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you need to cut them all so that you can get it smooth. Okay. Yeah. Control started teaching me how to cut hair. Okay. You see now, mm -hmm. I want to cut the uh, front shape. Okay, cool. Right? I can use the machine. Yes. You understand? But I want it to be neat, nice. So that's why I want to use the blade. Okay. Right? So I'll watch. I'll yeah. watch. You see, you comb the hair. The long ones, they will come forward. Mm -hmm. When they come forward, then you cut them. When you comb it, then you cut them before you can get it. Okay. Right? See? Wow, it's very, very precise. Thank you. What do you think makes people keep coming back to your shop? It's because the way they get a haircut, make you come back, you know, is mm -hmm. there, you know, the way you handle the customer, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the way you're gonna give me the haircut, 
the way he want it. Yeah. You give it to him the way he like it, so that you can mm -hmm. see him at every day. Yeah. Every day you'll be seeing him, even not himself. You will see more people. He is single, but you yeah. see like four, or five people coming from coming. angles. Wow. Okay. You understand? Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I have to do the same. Yeah. You see? Yeah. The more you you scraping on it, eh? not one one plate, one side. Mm -hmm. Your hand is moving the blade. Your hand is moving the blade at the same time. Moving the blade at the, at the same time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Because. You see, there is hair here, there is no hair here. Yeah, the hair here yeah. is, is less, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the way you cut it here, you can't cut it out the same way. Like that. Okay, 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 okay. Right, because the man, you don't, you don't, he doesn't like it. All should be equal. Okay. Want he wants a face. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Okay. So when you reach here, you need the comb, you need to go back. The blade. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. At the side, the blade, you need to come forward. Forward. Closer. Okay. You see how it works? Yeah. I hope you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're finished. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now. Dust them all. Dust the hair. Beautiful. You look lovely. Gorgeous. That's all. Cool. So are, are you, it's your turn. <laughs> are you coming? Yeah. All right. So come and sit down. <laughs> you know how to use this? No, what is that? You no. Know, just cut this way. Okay. Ready to cut my first victim. I mean, I mean, customer's hair. How are you feeling? Just comb the hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one down. Yeah. Okay, so do I trust myself to cut his hair is another question. So, wait, 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 but then we have to ask him first yeah. how he wants his hair, yeah. or you know how he I wants his know. hair. Yeah, I want to how show does you. he want his hair? Yes, make sure everything is done. Everything's off? Everything's off, but not this way. Do this. Okay, use this. But but I feel okay, like... Okay, put everything down. Oh. Yeah, anyway, I told you, you know you can put it down, put it down. Only, that's it. Anyway I want, yeah? Yeah. Do like, do... Hold on, let me tell you something. Hold on. Hold the machine. Hold it like, you understand? Don't do it like you are scared. Okay, yeah, I'm not scared. Yeah. Relax, it's okay. Yeah, let me, show you, let me show you something. Let it's going to look you. amazing. Let me show you something. You see how it works? It goes. Oh, yeah, okay, cool, so like that. Yeah. Don't pull the machine too hard. Not too it's hard. Soft okay. in your hand. Soft, like a little lamb. Yeah, soft. Soft. Yeah, that is why I put the comb in front of it. So it's soft, mouth. yeah? Okay. You see? So I don't end up cutting it. So I can him. get a skin. So, take okay. it. Good. That's it. Is this supposed to be the same length oh, everywhere, right? Yeah, it should be the same. Do it and let me see. <laughs> no, you're in the classroom, right? I'm in the classroom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, be serious, be serious. This is kind of like painting, right? No, it's not like that. You know, painting, it goes up and down, up and down. But That's this one is not like that. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see? You see how it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Wait, we're nearly there. When you watch the hair, you can see some part of the hair is down, some part of the hair is down. Uh, yeah, it's to, a bit uneven. Isn't it? We need to shave uh, everything to be okay. equal. Yeah. Everything. Okay, so let me go in more. Yeah, go in more. Oh, so I can go forward too? You can go forward. The hair all is for you. And the hair is all for me? All is for you. <laughs> okay, cool. You understand? Okay. You are going to give him the design. I'll give you the design. Okay, so look, okay, I yeah. can give you the design. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, like I understand this. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
that, that's okay to do. Oh, well, it's cool. <laughs> Sorry. But the machine can do it. Too. The machine can also do that. You can do that. You can wipe it with the machine. I, I wipe his face with the machine? No, not his face. The hair. Oh, but the hair's falling on his face. I just wanted to see? wipe it off. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you yeah. See? sorry to... Yeah, you see okay. here, here it's, it's like you're using for, you use force. I use force? Yeah, you hold the hair. Okay. You hold the hair like this, you, say you feel like you hold the hair. I hold the hair. You okay. hold the hair, yeah, you hold it like this. You do it like this, you see? Okay. Mm. Yeah. I hold the hair. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do the beard, right? Yeah. Oh gosh, and I thought we were nearly finished. Watch, right? Yeah. Is this how you do it? Like the Your hair. No, no. From down to up. Down, up like that? Yeah. yeah? Okay. But not too up like so this. So I'm going to turn it on. You have a, you have a, you have a line there. It's yeah. the ending line. So let me just do a small bit here, yeah? Okay. Tell I'll tell my mum I cut someone's beard. <laughs> My life achievements. One hand, not two hands. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one sits underneath your bed, right? It's kind of. <laughs> okay, cool. you do the rest. Cool. That was cool. No, I will see you cutting somebody's head. The beard. Beard. Have you ever messed up somebody's hairline? Mm, not too bad. Not too bad. Not, not too like bad. back. Not too, you know, no, no, no. Just, few, just a small bit. Just a small bit. Cool. So are we finished? Yeah. Oh, you okay? You're doing finishing touches. Yeah. You need to do that. Mm -hmm. That is the haircut. Yes. That one make the hair look nice, shape, and everything. Okay, it seemed we weren't quite done and Control did the finishing touches. Do you see yourself doing this for the next 25 years? No. No? No. Oh, why? Oh, I have a lot to do. Really? Mm. You have a list? Yeah. Okay. Finish everything on his face too. Under, under, under the BS. Okay. Yep, yep, underneath. <laughs> yes, I like the energy. Yeah. <laughs> we have a piece of bed just hanging. Yeah. No, hanging on. Clean the hand up for you. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. We need yeah. like a little perf little body. Sir? Thank you very much for being my victim today. So this has been my work of art today. And we have WX6 coming up and Talent on the Street. So make sure that you check it out. But first, let's take a selfie. This week on WX6, we find out Why were barbers called barber surgeon? The barber's trade has a long history. Razors have been found amongst relics of the Bronze Age in Egypt. In ancient Egyptian culture, barbers were highly respected individuals. In the European Middle Ages, barbers often served as surgeons and dentists. In addition to hair cutting and shaving, barbers performed surgery, bloodletting and leeching, fire cupping, enemas and even the extraction of teeth, not to mention amputating limbs, earning them the name barber surgeons. In early African civilizations, hairstyles could indicate a person's family background, tribe and social status. Just about everything about a person's identity could be learned by looking at their hair. Many tribes meant there were plenty of different customs. For example, the Maasai boy's hair would be shaved before they are circumcised, allowing their hair to grow until they become a warrior and then braided.
talent on the streets explores the amazing talents of those you may not always see. Accra is filled with extraordinary talent that often goes unseen. We want to expose these talents and share with you the most breathtaking, exciting and inspiring talents. One, two, three, <laughs> hey, hello. hello. Hey, Emeline, lovely to meet you. I'm Samuel. How are you doing? I'm good. I was a bit worried that I was going to get here. I was oh, like, no, 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 no. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so, this is where you guys train every day? Yeah, we train every day here. Oh, exciting. Okay. Yeah. Well, then maybe I'll take you for two seconds. We can have a little chat and maybe I'll take your position after. All right. Let's see. You're welcome. Let's go. Okay. So how long have you been doing Muay Thai boxing for? I've been doing Muay Thai boxing for 15 years. Wow, yeah. okay. And do you do any other form of practices? Yes, I do kickboxing, okay. I do boxing, I do taekwondo and MMA. MMA? Yeah. Wow. So how long have you been doing all of them for? The same amount of time? No, I, I did taekwondo for about four years. Okay. And yes, and then... Um, kickboxing for five years before the others. Ah. Uh, yeah. And then what happens? Because I'm sure they're very similar. Yeah. Say you have like a fight. You're doing MMA tonight, and then you're doing Taekwondo tomorrow. Yeah. Like, how do you switch off and think? Okay, now I'm in Taekwondo mode, or I'm in MMA mode. Like, how does that happen? Okay. Whenever you want to take any fight, which is if Taekwondo, kickboxing, or Muay Thai. For instance, if you have um, Muay Thai fight, you need to prepare yourself, you need more time to prepare right. yourself. So, um, because if you fight Muay Thai fight, you need to relax yourself, you need more time to, you know, recover, for instance, if you have any injury. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you can fight Muay Thai fight today, and then maybe, let me say, next week, you are going to fight uh, Taekwondo fight. No. You need a time to work it, because Whenever there is kickboxing fight or Muay Thai fight, you need the time, let me say like two months, three months to work it out before okay. you fall into the fight. So do you say to yourself, okay, two months I'm going to do MMA, yeah. then I have a fight, then two months I'm going to do Muay Thai boxing, and then two months after that I'm going to do kickboxing. Like, is that how your schedule yeah, works? It, it depends. Mm -hmm. Because you, it's not always that um, kickboxing fight or you know, hold or they will have events. Mm. They have other, you know, fights that hold, have their own time and all on um, a month or years that they have their okay. competitions or fight. Do you sometimes get into a fight and then you start maybe mixing the moves? Like, let's say you go to, I don't know, more Thai boxing, then yeah. you'll do like maybe a Taekwondo kick mm -hmm. and you think, oh, oops, no, I wasn't no, supposed to, that doesn't no, happen? Not at all. Okay, and then so does this become like your whole life? Yes, 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 because um, this is what I do, you know. As uh, I was young then, I used to do um, street fight a lot. Um, so through that, uh, I found out, you know, there is a better place to be with whatever I'm doing around. Because you can't just go out there and just, you know, be fighting all around. You need to prepare yourself towards certain situation and certain environment. So I said to myself, no, um, this is the time I have to put myself in a place, maybe kickboxing or any other thing, but I find myself in Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, let me take it from there. So uh, there was one man, uh, Maxwell, he's heavyweight in kickboxing. So he saw me, he also did Taekwondo, so he saw me and he said, no, um, the kind of power you use and the kind of active and the training that you go through, you need to you know, fall into kickboxing. So I said, okay, let me just take that. So I love, I love asking this question because I'm always intrigued to know if people's parents were okay with them, you know, taking up their hobby, their passion. Um, for you, what was it like for your parents? Okay, um, my parents really didn't go into deep into it because actually I was not with them for, certain time, for some time. Um, it get to a point that from Taekwondo I move into kickboxing and they were like, hey, you got to hold on a little bit. And I said, no, this is where I want to be. You know, your parents will always guide you into the right path because they want the best for you. 
But I told them also, this is what I wanted to do. They said, okay, so let me try it up. So um, I had my first fight, I lost my first fight, that is when I started kickboxing. Yeah. But from there, uh, all my fight, I never lost. So they said, okay, so if that is it, then I have to take it up there. So from there, I just shift into Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that is where everything started. That's yes. cool. Okay, and then from there, you started teaching people. Yes, yes. Um, because I said to myself that I'm still fighting. And if the, the time comes in and I don't want to fight again or I want to resign or any other thing, I have to um, give the best that is me to, to the young guys that are also coming up. Because I always say one thing that what you don't have, you can give. Mm -hmm. So you have to, and when you're giving, you have to give the best out. So um, I started with some kids, you know, the street kids and all that. And even now I have more of the street kids that I'm, I'm training them and some of them are winning their fight, getting their medals and other, other things. I also have one fighter here and that is called Selassie, but his nickname is Black Sparrow. Okay, that's he, cool. Uh, he had a kickboxing and he won by a knockout round three. Wow. And there is a MMA fight that is coming up uh, on the 4th of November, WFC, that is also taking that MMA fight. Mm. So this is the ground that I'm working on. Yes, I have a lot of guys that I'm working, most of them are winning their fight and all that. So this is the ground that I am into. Um, when you first were learning, where did you learn? Okay, uh, I learned at uh, the stadium, across Sports Stadium. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is where you know, I pick it up from. Do you feel like in Ghana people see mixed martial arts as a profession? Yes, um, I would say uh, because it's not, not really because uh, uh, people in Ghana don't really have more education about the art and this is what we are trying to push it out there for people to understand that when you are doing MMA or you are doing any other art like Muay Thai or any other thing it's, it's not dangerous as people see you see if if they said this act is dangerous I always tell people that there are so many sports that are very dangerous but because we don't call them out so people is like hey you seen Muay Thai in TV and somebody get a card so hey don't go there my son you don't have to go no that is not it because before you get a card or you go into it you know you go through all the basics mm -hmm. all the physical training everything you go through it so you know where your opponent is going to punch or elbow mm -hmm. so you got to defend yourself so when you don't defend yourself that is when you get a cut or you go in with the punches to, to go down mm. so i guess today i'm going to be trying it for fitness then no, all right. maybe you have to show me some skills sure and then maybe i could try some exactly i'm really yeah I'm just, I'm just scared I don't get hit. <laughs> I hope I just don't get hit. That's just no, my no, one. No. Do not hit me in the face. No, no, no. <laughs> and it'll be good. No, you're not get hit. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Here. So Matt went through the basics of Muay Thai boxing. Number one, take your shoes off. Yes, even in the scorching sun. Okay, so it's really hot. <laughs> yes. We're going to start with our stance. Mm -hmm. Right, and now we stand 45 all the time, so we go that way. Number two, the stance. We move out one and two, and when you are moving, all the time we move the outside leg first. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving forwards and backwards. One, two, now we are going to the left side. And then side to side. Mm -hmm. That way, good. So you guide up nicely. Number four, the importance of protecting your face and ribs. This your arms is always protecting your ribs. Oh. That is why you guide up that way. And finally, number five, the importance of having your back toe slightly raised. Nope, not that high. Just about right. Now we're ready for action. Or not. Okay, let's go.
Now we are going straight elbow. Now straight elbow with the left hand, we go one. My feet are burning. Good, yep. good, good. Let's go. One, good. Good, let's go. One, one. Good, good, good. You are doing great. Whoa. Good. Okay, <laughs> good. Now. You're a good cheerleader. You good, 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 good. Okay. okay, now next section, we are going to at the knee. So, you, at the back leg, you are always on your feet, mm -hmm. your toes. So, we go knee. Mm -hmm. no, we go knee in, in. Good. You always stretch your limb when you knee. Stretch and what? Your limb. Your limb. Yes, good. So, when you knee also, you limb back a little bit. That way. Very good, very good. Let's go. One. We go. One. Yeah. Yes, let's go. Knee. Now, we are going to skip knee. I feel like I'm going like, hey. Uh huh, uh huh. Is so, that the now, kick? when you knee, yeah. all the time, you have to put your limb inside. Let what? it be in. Very good. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Good, good, good post. Okay, we go. One. Uh, one. 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 So right hand? No. Right Turn hand. It. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm scared I won't remember the feet though. Let's see. Okay, let's try. Now you guide up. You be on your guard. Very good. You be on your toes as well. Good. Not too up. Have to. Good. Good. This is good. A little bit up. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So don't let it be under your chin. Okay. Let it be on your jaw. Very good. Okay. Okay, so we are going to jab first. So we jab. No, our jab is going straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fail at the uh, first no. one. Okay. Yeah. Ready. Um, stand. Ready. Good. Wear Good. my mini high heel at the back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, jab. Yeah. Good. Whenever you jab, don't leave your guy down. The oh, right yeah. one. Okay. Because when you leave it, they're gonna point. whack me. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jab, good, jab, straight punch. Very good, straight punch. Good, let's go, let's go. Good, now we are going jab and straight punch. Okay. One, two, good. One, two, let's go. One, two, good. One, two, good. One, two, okay, now we're going jab, straight punch, and hook. Okay, jab, jab straight, straight punch, punch, hook. Very good. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight punch, hook, yeah. good, let's go. Jab, straight punch, hook, oh, good, good, let's go. Jab, straight punch, hook, oh, good, let's go. Jab, okay, let's go. Good, let's go. Good. But I hurt my face. Good, good. Okay, knee. Good, knee. Good, knee. Knee. Good, let's go, knee. I panicked, I panicked, okay. One more, right. because I'm like, what's elbow? I'm like, is this my elbow? <laughs> I got so confused. All right. Okay. Now let's try the skip. Skip knee. What? Skip knee. What's that? Oh. Skip knee. Let me see again. Yeah. Skip and knee. <laughs> okay. One, two. Yeah. Okay. okay let's try it. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Your leading leg. Good. Skip. Good. Ah! good! Good, good, okay. good, good. Okay, let's try it again. Fun, good, let's go. Fun, good wait, now. Wait, wait. Skip knee and straight punch. Skip knee, straight punch. A straight punch, that's yeah. a straight punch, yeah? yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Yes, we yes. go. Fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, okay, good, let's, let's keep going. Fun, ah! Fun. good, let's go. Fun, yeah. Fun. good, let's go now. One, two, good, 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 good. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Good. So we go one. Yeah. Good. Let's go. Yeah. One. Good. Let's go. Yeah. One. Okay. Let's go. One. Yeah. Good. One. Yeah. Good. One. Yeah. Good. Now we go one kick straight punch. Yeah. Which one straight punch? This one. Yeah. Okay. One. Yeah. One. Yeah. Good. Let's go. One. One. Knee. Hey. Straight punch. Kick. Knee. Straight punch. Kick. Knee. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Good, 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 good,